Amaurosis fugax. It is the painless unilateral transient loss of vision, partial or complete, related to retinal arterial microembolization and hypoperfusion. Fleeting darkness or blindness. Retinal transient ischemic attack, transient monocular blindness. It accounts for 25% of anterior circulation, transient ischemic attack. Transient visual loss, occlusive retinal artery disease, it could be low retinal artery pressure, optic disc disease and anomalies, vasospasm and miscellaneous. Occlusive retinal artery disease in, could be atheroembolic which causes uh, most of these symptoms, could be cardioembolic uh, with the art atriitis and hematological disorder, congenital or orbital tumor. Low retinal artery pressures could be ocular ischemia syndrome, atrioventricular venous fistula and congestive heart failure and anemia. Optic disease anomalies include papilledema, glaucoma and Drusen's disease. Vasospasm include ophthalmic migraine, miscellaneous Utoff phenomena and classical migraine. Clinical features symptoms include abrupt or gradual monocular visual loss progressing from peripheral towards the center of the field, plus minus descending or ascending, shade, partial or complete, looking through fog, visual disturbance, dark, foggy, gray, white, one to five minutes, occasionally longer and full resolution takes 10 to 20 minutes. It could be painless, stereotyped and usually occurs in isolation. Transient retinal ischemia, it could be normal, box scarring, engorgement of veins and swelling of retina and retinal embolus. The clinical features and retinal finding of acute infarction include opaque and gray is early sign, bright flakes of cholesterol or other microemboli may persist weeks to years, cotton wool spots, segmental arteriolar mural opacification, optic disc paler, Arteriolar narrowing is a late sign. Atheromatous degeneration and stenosis of the cervical carotid arteries estimated 27 to 67% with amyroxus fugax or retinal strokes. Retinal emboli could be uh, caused by cholesterol crystals, platelet aggregate, fibrin and blood cells, and neutral fat. And it could also be caused by vasospasm. The primary thrombosis of retinal arteries does not occur. Microemboli occlude the retinal vessels, then fragment and pass into retinal periphery. If disintegration with the reconstitution of the blood flow does not occur, the ischemic damage to the inner retinal layers may be irreversible. Transient monocular blindness. Consider the disorder of greatest morbidity and most common disorder. Consider the age, stereotype, P of the events, physical exam including blood pressure, carotid cardiac exam, ophthalmic examination include visual equity, visual fields, relative apparent pupil defect, dilated fundus exam, emboli, anomalous disc, visual defects and visual fields, electro retinogram, diminished B wave amplitude. So we can divide the transient monocular blindness into two groups. Under 40, the causes could be migraine. So uh, take the migraine history, family, echocardiogram, CBC, ESR, ANA, antiphospholipid antibodies, stop birth control pills and stop smoking. History of giant cell arthritis, polymyalgia, coronary artery disease, stroke risk factor, ESR, C-reactive protein if older than 50, carotid Doppler echocardiogram, MRA, CT angiography, fluorescein angiogram, and carotid angiography. Cerebrovascular disease, the spectrum could be low risk to high risk, could be asymptomatic with the signs of atherosclerosis and symptomatic atherosclerotic disease with cerebrovascular disease and CVA. There is obvious risk of atrial fibrillation and ocular ischemic syndromes to other carotid arteries. 
early studies and reports of uncontrolled and different population and causes aggregates best studied ocular ischemic syndrome and the prognosis following the AF considered more favorable than TIA unless severe stenosis. Prognosis altered by carotid endarterectomy and stroke is estimated 2 to 4 percent prior to NASCET. The risk of a stroke in patient with first ever retinal versus hemispheric transient ischemic attack and high grade carotid stenosis. Thank you.